Hi, I'm Brian Benham, and today I am designing a bucket to go with our miner's bar cart. Uh, if you follow my other channel, you may have seen me build this on the other channel. If not, and you want to watch me build this miner's bar cart as well as the bucket, I will put a link in the description down below. Uh, but let's start designing our bucket. And this is going to be a uh, stave style bucket. So first, this is my miner's bar cart, and it is drawn to scale. It's what I use to, uh, to pull my dimensions from when I built the actual cart. The bucket is going to go right in this empty spot here. So I'm just going to hit C for circle. Oh, and by the way, I'm using SketchUp Pro to do my design work today. And I'm just going to, uh, on this face, draw out a circle about the size that I think a bucket is going to look good. And on the bottom right hand corner, it's showing my radius of what my radius is. So I don't want to uh, try to build something in 30 seconds of an inch because that's just extra complicated when you're out in the shop. So I'm going to uh, just pick a nice round even number uh, that I think looks good. So I think five inch radius is going to look pretty good. And then I'm going to hit P to push pull to extrude this out to a height that I think is going to look good as well. I don't know that I want to go much higher than this and I want the uh, when I put a bottle in there I want the top of the bottle to uh, stick out and I measured a wine bottle and I think uh, uh, nine inches is a pretty good happy medium between a nice size looking bucket and also a nice display to set a wine bottle in as well so I'm gonna go about nine inches tall and I don't want this to be a boring bucket like a, a big box store five gallon plastic bucket. I want it to have some shape uh, shape to it. I want it to have some actual design features. So I'm going to taper it. So I'm going to select the, uh, the bottom ring here, hit S to scale it, and I'm going to hold down the control key to scale it about the center so it scales evenly. And I'm just going to uh, find a, uh, a size that I think is going to look good. And I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to take note at the bottom right hand corner that that's uh, 0.74 that I've scaled it to. So basically I've uh, reduced the bottom down uh, to 26%. Uh, All right, so I think that looks pretty good and is a nice size. So now we need to draw in our staves so I can figure out what angle to cut all the wood at uh, to build this bucket. So to figure out how many staves I need, I'm going to basically go to Google Images and type in stave bucket and just see what uh, buckets I like. So this has a nice taper to it. And so I'm just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It looks like there's 9 or 10 staves there. That's only counting halfway around the bucket, so of course I need to multiply that by two. So I think I'm going to do a stave bucket that is uh, 22 or 20 sides, 20 uh, staves. So let's turn off our uh, bar cart here so I can work from the origin. And instead of using the circle tool, I'm going to use the polygon tool. And by default, it has six sides. So I'm going to type in 20, hit enter. So now it's going to draw a 20 sided shape. So I'm going to pull out here and the top of our bucket was five inches radius. So five enter. I'm going to P to push pull. I'm going to push pull this up uh, to our nine inches. All right, I'm going to select this ring F to offset. And I'm going to offset this uh, 0.75. So three quarters of an inch thick wall. I'm just going to isolate this stave here. So when I set the saw up, I can set it up to whatever this distance is. So this is 1 and 9 sixteenths. So now the bottom, I need to scale it down. Hold that down in a uh, 0.74. All right, let's measure this guy. So it measures one in five thirty seconds. One in five thirty seconds is going to be kind of a cumbersome number to uh, set the saw to, to set up my jig. I'd rather uh, measure to the near sixteenth. So uh, to round that off, I'd say that's one in three sixteenths. 
So I need to redraw the bottom of my bucket uh, with these lengths to be 1 and 3 16 So I need to do a little math. So that math that uh, we learned in high school that we thought we had never used in the real world. So yeah, here we go. So I'm going to do 1 and 3 16 times 20 for our 20 staves. Divide that by pi to get our diameter. Divide that by 2 to get our radius. And that gives us 3.7799. I'm going to select this, delete, uh, grab our polygon tool again. And we're going to draw a radius of 3.7799. Hit enter. All right, so now let's offset this bottom 0.75, so three quarters of an inch offset. And we'll isolate this one. So now this should measure 1 and 3 16 So now when I get out into the shop, I can set uh, the top at what was that, 1 and 5 16 or one and nine sixteenths, and then the bottom at one and three sixteenths uh, to get the taper of the stave. So let's draw our stave in here. I'm just connecting point to point from this top point of this one down to this bottom point of this guy. Pull the shift key down to select this guy. To go control copy and then I'm just going to triple click to delete all this control shift V to paste in place oh, whoops let's make it a component first I'm going to grab this guy control to make a copy 19 times enter all right so there is our stave bucket okay so now we need to figure out uh, our bottom so I want the uh, the dado for the bottom to be up about a half an inch, so L for line tool, and I'm just going to go straight up uh, the blue axes, 0.5, enter. Uh, C to grab my circle tool. Uh, I'm going to hit the up arrow key to lock it onto the blue axes. And I'm going to go out here until I hit the wall of the bucket. And that's 1 in 3 16 And I think I want my dado to go in about a half inch. So that would be 3 and 9 sixteenths radius, so 3, 9 sixteenths, it's enter, P to push pull, and we're going to extrude that up a uh, half an inch, so I want a half inch thick bucket. So we'll triple click, hit G to make a group. So now let's select the, the bottom and hold the shift key down to select one of these staves. Hit M, control to make a copy so we can move it out here so we can work on it and see what's going on. So now I need to figure out what this angle is right here so I can set the table saw up to, set, to cut that dado. So I'm going to use uh, the solid tools. I'm going to use a subtraction tool. Uh, so I'm going to subtract the bottom from the stave. And there we go, cut it out for us. So now I can use the protractor tool. All right, so now I can use the protractor tool and I can uh, I basically measure this angle. So it's 97.7 degrees. So if I set the table saw blade or the dado blade at 7.7 .7 degrees, uh, I should be able to cut that dado. Now, if I go up here, this is going to be a compound cut. So I'm going to build a uh, jig uh, to hold this at an angle in the saw so I can cut this uh, taper but at the same time I want to be able to cut this angle so it makes up the stave bucket so I can also measure this bucket or measure this stave so this angle is 81 degrees so that's basically 9 degrees so I'd set the table saw up to cut a 9 degree angle on both sides and set the jig so it cuts my taper All right, so let's make our handle. I'm going to select two of the staves on opposite, opposite sides of the uh, bucket. Uh, right click, make unique. 
All right, I'm using an extension called uh, Fredo Joint Push Pull to pull these guys up since they are not a normal surface that you'd use in SketchUp. To pull this up, I'm going to pull it up uh, about an inch and a quarter. I think looks good. Now let's go an inch and a half. Now let's go uh, inch and three quarters. Yeah, that looks better. All right, I'm going to erase these uh, lines that are not necessary. So I'm going to use the uh, tape measure tool, T for tape measure. Move it over here to, until uh, I snap to the center, and that's 13 sixteenths. So I'm going to move down 13 sixteenths. And I'm going to run a rope through here, and the rope is going to be uh, about a half inch, I think. So 0.25 radius. Half inch seems kind of small for that rope. Might get a bigger rope. Uh, let's, let's bump that up a little bit to a 3 8 inch radius. We'll just extrude that out. I think that looks good. Now let's uh, add a little decoration to it. I'm going to trim these ends here. I'm just kind of doing this by eye, whatever looks good here. Alright, now I'm just going to select this line. Since this is at an angle, um, I want to use that same angle here. So I'm just copying this line around. I'm just going around selecting and deleting the geometry I just don't need. And then healing it up just by drawing a line to reattach uh, that section. All right, to draw our rope handle in, I'm going to use a couple of extensions, uh, uh, one called wire, and it droops, uh, uh, basically droops a wire in uh, between two points. And then I'm gonna use a Bezier curve to kind of fare those points out, uh, along with just a line tool. I'm just gonna plot points around the bucket where I want the uh, wire to go, or want the rope to go. And then I will create a circle and use a follow me tool after I weld it all together to follow it all the way around to the other end. And that's how I'm going to create my, uh, my bucket. Now there's probably better ways to do this uh, rope in SketchUp, but it's not something I do very often. I just want to draw it in just to kind of complete the look of the bucket. I don't actually need this information at this point to go out and build it in the shop. I can just go out there and build it right now. But uh, here's, what, uh, here's my process that I use to get this rope into my drawing. All right, so I'm just taking out the, uh, the sharp curves or sharp corners. So when I uh, use the follow me tool to create the rope, uh, it won't have any sharp bends in it. Now I'm going to use the Select Curves tool and select this entire thing and hit the W key to weld it. Alright, so there is my path for my rope to follow. Right, I'm going to draw a circle, 0.25. Select that. Select the Follow Me tool. Alright, so there is our makeshift rope. Uh, I probably should do a little more research. I'm sure there is a much better way to draw a rope in uh, SketchUp, but uh, it'll at least give us uh, a little something to look at here for our design. 
All right, so our bucket is coming along here, but I realize we need some bands to hold uh, hold the staves together. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here my bottom center point that I left in there. I'm going to go up on the blue axes, let's say three inches. Use my circle tool, snap to that center point, come out here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to push pull 0.75 inches. Use my Fredo uh, tools here to just pull that out a little bit. Scale this out just a tiny bit. Scale this one in just a tiny bit. So it tapers along the uh, shape of the bucket. Move that up four inches, scale it. All right, there we go. All right, so as I said before, I have built the car on uh, my other YouTube channel and uh, I'm building the bucket. So I'll leave links to those below if you want to watch how I built those. And I also teach an online SketchUp course. So if you are interested in learning SketchUp, uh, please check that out. I will leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching.